Right, so we're back here today. Obviously, do part five. I've got the pencil. I think it's like day five now, isn't it? Or day six? Yeah, hitting everything. Day five or day six? Pencil. Um, so we just sanded round the edges on here because we're going to start doing the fold up windows. This is what Dad's doing now, measuring and cutting that. It's also building everywhere else, so it's probably quite a good job that you can't hear everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working on the flip up windows, so hopefully you guys will actually be able to understand how I'm going to fit in it. So obviously at the moment, I'm quite a bit taller than it, but it's going to have a flip up two foot window on either side and also at the front, um, allowing the roof then to sit up here somewhere. Um, this panel and this panel are then going to be canvassed. So there's going to be canvas panels, solid roof. The windows are going to have vents in them as well so we don't die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, these panels are also going to be able to come off if it's too hot so we can get a nice air airflow. The back here, the back here as well is also going to be a canvas panel. Um, and the back there is the bit that's going to fold down that we sleep into. So it's going to be raised area here and then lower area at the back to sleep. Door will always be four foot, meant for midgets or hobbits, but that's fine. Um, yeah, back onto the cutting, I guess. Okay, so, so I've just finished doing the painting, the first frame, window frame, I'm trying to do that. First window frame there, it's gonna be solid pieces of wood covering those for supports. And then that's all gonna be glass. So it's gonna be like twin wall plastic with a window, a fake window divide in the middle there. That's the front door, first coat, that's gonna be the inside because the inside I would quite like to leave kind of wood design. Again, the roof on here, what we're gonna try and do for to help with structural stability is, let me get you all the way back there have a runner, or two runners, sorry, running it all the way up to the top, so front, because of where it is actually is quite, is not very stable basically. It's quite likely that it might break at some point, so we need to structurally stabilize that. Um, but yeah, so it's come along quite nicely. Um, it's gonna give another two coats to the other window frame, the other one of those, and then we'll be putting that up. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking how we're gonna stand inside of it. So I did say earlier on, but here's the finished wall. That's gonna stand on top of there, and then that will yeah. hinge all the way down and inside to sit there when the roof is down. So roof down, roof up, and then roof will be on top of that. And then that'll all be a window. That's the plan anyway, isn't it? Have, Man. No, have a knife.
know the way in which I was using that just then was very dangerous, I'm aware. Okay, so I was looking over the footage around this is not enough really to make a video out of one, so you're getting two days for the price of one. Don't complain. Uh, what day are we on today? Is it day like seven? I think it's day seven. Day seven. Day seven. Um, yeah, merged in with day six. Got these two things which are going to be put across the roof to strengthen it from the outside. Got my hubcaps to spray up. And that's going to do more of the window frames. I'm literally stood like this far away. It does not care. It doesn't care. Sitting on, oh, sitting on the cap. Right, so the last bit of footage that you saw there, I'm um, going to be just putting two beams across. And um, there's a joint. You're right, Fury. Are you, are you okay? She loves me. Hey, you're right. But yeah, that. I was putting those two beams across because where, where it nips back in again towards the top there isn't really anything to hold it up so the join's a little bit weak so we just put those across the top and now that's made it really really strong. Love the elbow. But yeah, if you like this video hit that like button, if you want to be kept up to date with everything I'm doing with my trailer hit that subscribe button. Well they have to fury but as always, see you in the next one.